Hello YouTube, this is the review of the GNG uh, SOCOM 16 or the M14. SOCOM because the barrel is not as long as the other ones. Costs are roughly around uh, 270 bucks on Airsoft Extreme. I just took the sling off a tennis bag and it works fine. Uh, this gun is averaging about 340 FPS. The RPM is really good and, and uh, it's really quiet. It's a quiet gun. The only uh, trouble parts in this gun is the putting the mag in. Yeah, I'll, tr I'll try to show you. Okay, you have to put it like there's a thing in there, so you have to and uh, there's a hole there, so you have to put that in. Basically, like putting it. It's basically like putting an AK in. There. Like that. I didn't get mid caps because it would you know take too long to switch out, you know, put it in. Sometimes it doesn't shoot if you don't put it in right. Uh, I'll show you the hop up. You pull down here. Hop ups right here. It's really good. The, the GNG hop ups are really good. Uh, the sights are really good too. I'm not sure you can see that right, but that should be about good. Also, another cool feature feature about this gun is this sight. This uh, raises that. I like to keep it down because it might break off if I keep it too high. One of the best things about the gun is, I mean, actually, it's kind of bad, but it's really cool too how easy it is to put the battery in and how much space there is when you have the battery in there's about space to put two I mean three small type batteries in there but right now here's my 8.4 battery and my 9.6 which is a little bigger I'll just put that in for you right now As you can see, with just with the 9.6, there's a lot more room. I was thinking of like just buying a little bag of BBs to keep down there in case I run out or something, and you're done. You're good. Uh, I recommend this gun for people that like to go CQB with a sniper, kind of. It's a reliable gun. Very reliable, very accurate, very quiet, very, I mean, the motor sounds good, it sounds really nice. I would show you how to take it apart, but I don't like taking guns apart, except I'm forced because that's what I'm good at. But basically, all I know is that you lift that, I mean, uh, yeah, lift, you know, lift this up, then you can just pull it all out, and the motor comes out with it too, so. Oh yeah, um. Basically, everything's plastic except the outer barrel, the rail right here to put like an ACOG or a nice tread dot, the part right here, but everything else is plastic. This whole entire part in under yeah, is, is metal, so oh, I mean, the plastic keeps it light. If it was full metal, I'd have to be like rock, r Rambo or something to carry this beast. It's already heavy enough since the barrel is freaking long and like what remind oh, what I forgot about um it came it comes with a type 4 barrel which is pretty good yeah so uh, that's basically it I'll do a shooting review um I'll be making that shooting review video tomorrow because we're having a skirmish tomorrow and my friend infamous 356 Brandon whatever that's his name it will be video taping with my uh, camera and uh, I'll have a cord for it to download so that's why he downloads and uses whatever his thing, so. Oh, wait, uh, but.